be reminded of just how important it is to be careful when you're in the outdoors and there's still so much work happening out in the gorge in terms of recovery from the Eagle Creek damage. The group uh, Friends of the Columbia Gorge doing a lot of that work on the ground. So joining us is Trailhead Ambassador, boy that sounds important, <laughs> Jim K Chase. And Jim, you're taking a break from your trail work today to come I in am. here and, yeah. and, and give it's us a, more reminders as, as Tracy was telling yeah, us. It's yeah. a pleasure. So some of the trails, <clears throat> excuse me, have recently reopened, but I bet they're crowded. Terribly crowded. And, uh, you know, even before the fire, the trails in the, the, the gorge was a little bit of victim of its own success. Mm -hmm. People were just so crowded in the summer at the popular trailheads. And um, then when the fire happened and so many of the, the particularly in the waterfall alley were closed, uh, the remaining trails that are open are just horribly congested. So um, last year we did a pilot program at Dog Mountain at the request of the Forest Service where we put volunteers like myself at the trailhead. We could help people advise about where to park and permits and the trail itself. And if the trailhead was just so full that it was impossible, we could give them alternative places to go that were nearby. And uh, so it was very successful. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this year we expanded it uh, to 10 trailheads. We wow. recruited our members, trained them, uh, staffed up with the equipment that we need for it. And so far we have uh, eight trailheads up and running. Uh, and as soon as some of those on Mount Hood melt out a little bit, we'll do some more up there. So, you, yeah, you mentioned um, Dog Mountain, and that is an area now where you have to actually sign up to go Yes, and, yes, and I think that was, Dog Mountain was, of all the congestion, was probably the worst uh, because the season is so short. So this year, the, um, the Forest Service required a hiking permit as well as a parking okay. permit. Uh, are you enforcing that or are they enforcing No, they are, that? We're, we're not policemen. We're <laughs> yeah. there as advisors, uh, but they do enforce it. And so you can buy that online uh, in advance. It only costs a dollar and a half but they would issue just a limited number of them. And so that when they're gone, they're gone. Has and that it, helped the congestion? Have you seen Tremendous. Mm -hmm. and the other thing that really helped is there has been a shuttle from Stevenson to Dog Mountain during the peak season for several years now, but not very many people used it. Uh, and so if you go to Stevenson and take the shuttle, which costs $1 each way, <laughs> you, you, can get, handle it. you get a free hiking permit and the number is unlimited. So between issuing a number, a limited number, and also highly encouraging people to use the shuttle, the congestion at Dog Mountain was infinitely better this year. So what advice do you have people who, for people who would like to head out to the gorge and take a hike? I'd say plan early, go early, go on the weekday, if if at all possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we will be there at most of the pop pop uh, popular trailheads. And if, if it's just too crowded, we can give you some advice about other places that you can go nearby. Well, give me a quick tip then. If, sure. if I show up at Dog Mountain, I don't have my permit, I get turned away, where would you tell me to go? So I could say um, you could drive right up the, uh, uh, right up the road uh, a little ways to the uh, east or west, and you could go to Hamilton Mountain. Uh, you could go up Beacon Rock. You could go up uh, uh, up to uh, you know the trailheads further to the west, even out as far as the Dalles. There's good hiking. Mm -hmm. I had a family yesterday from Germany that came. I was working at Cape Horn. They wanted waterfalls. Well, there is one waterfall, but it's kind of not easy to get to. Mm. So I was able to say, look, nine miles up the road, you can go to Hamilton Mountain. Uh, Pool of the Winds is gorgeous waterfall. It's only about a mile in. And tomorrow, why don't you drive across and go to Multnomah Falls uh, and La Terrell and Bridal Veil are both open. Mm -hmm. So it was, that's what we're doing. What a tremendous well, resource this no guy kidding. is. No kidding. And you guys always have been. I mean, you've literally saved this gorge. Thank you. And we are so grateful for what you do there. Well, we're proud of it and we love yeah. the gorge. Continued safe hiking. We appreciate you coming okay. by.